What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. I'm in the Cayman Islands still. I've been going after tarpon every day, hardcore. We've been hitting like three or four spots a day. I just made it to the fish market, bought some fish from the guys at the fish market. You can see all the tarpon, but they are smart. They gave me some bait. So me and Judd, my brother-in-law, we're gonna throw in, see if we can hook up to one. Hopefully land one. Take him out underneath the rope. Oh, yeah. Oh, there he goes. Dang. It gives her good because there's blood coming out of it. Guys. It is so hard to catch one of these tarpon. We're gonna throw it back out, see if we can get them to bite again. Oh, he's going for it. He got it. Nope. Yep, he just ate it. Now he's got it. Got him, got him. Oh, it came off. Gosh, dang. Guys, I'm telling you guys, it's so hard. Hook it in there a little better or something. No, it's good. I just gotta get a hook. Oh, there Kind of right towards the back of the boat. I'll throw that other piece. That other thing. Let's throw some ballot hoop. Keep that one for, or we can put the Malahu on. As you can tell, I am back in Texas. Glad to be back, but I wish I was still in the Caymans. So, this tarpon journey, I have been after a big tarpon in the Caymans for a very long time. I've probably hooked up to 40 plus tarpon in uh, all the years that I've been going there. I've never landed one. My brother-in-law landed a big one last year, but that was the first one that we've landed in all these years so we went so many times me justin and jared that uh i just stopped filming intros if we hooked up to one then i filmed it justin actually sent me some footage that he had of some tarpon that we hooked up to so there's two spots that we really go to the fish market and then another spot kind of on the other side of the island it's uh behind a restaurant the restaurant feeds the tarpon so they're used to um having bait thrown in and uh, but that doesn't mean that they're easy to catch. They see line, they see the leader, they see the hook. If you just have a little tiny piece of hook hanging out of your bait, they're gonna see it and they'll just, they won't even eat it. So uh, it's super hard to get them to bite. But here's some footage of uh, when Justin and Jared were still in town and we actually hooked up to four within like 10 minutes and just never got one. Enjoy these few jumps of some giant tarpon. Bait's in. Oh yeah, he's going for it. He's got it, he's got it, he's got nope, it. Nope, he's got it now, he's got it now, he's got it now. Set it. Let him eat, let him eat, let him eat, let him eat. Here you go, 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 go. These are jumbos. Gosh, I have never caught a tarpon, and this is insane. This is insane that we're even, uh, we're hooking them this quick, but then they're just getting off. Take of it. So this time around, Justin and Jared had both left the island. Me and my brother-in-law were still gonna go try for them at least twice a day. Uh, it had been raining all day this day, and we caught a break. So we went over there, threw in, nothing was there. We went and got some uh, bait from the restaurant. 
the guy up there is awesome. He was giving us the scraps from the fish that they cook in the restaurant. So we threw those in, kind of got a few in the area, and then I threw in and just let it sit there. I probably sat there for, I don't know, 10 minutes with it on the bottom of the uh, canal. And we were about to pack up and go. And the camera wasn't rolling or anything, so I didn't get the hook set. But uh, I was about to flip the veil over to reel it in, and he started taking line. Flipped the veil over, stuck him as hard as I could. We switched over, we were using circle hooks the whole week, and uh, we were hooking them up, but they were spitting the hook. So we switched over to a big J hook, and I just yanked as hard as I could, got him in the right, got him right in the top of the lip, and uh, here's the fight of this big, beautiful tarpon. Again, yeah. I'll get one of these guys to film. Yeah. Guys, we did it. Got a big old tarpon. We've been doing we've been trying this every day for the past five days. He probably 60 pounds. Beautiful tarpon. Catch and release. Try to get this hook out of him. Oh. Oh. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Oh, come here. Is, guys we're gonna get a release on him oh thank you fish thank you all right guys it's been raining audio's probably bad but we're gonna get a release on this guy there he goes wow what a fight yes we have been after this for a long time guys Justin and Jared left Jared left yesterday Justin left today and we tried with them for the past four days. We hooked up probably on 12 different tarpon and uh, never got one to the shore. So, uh, sorry you couldn't have done that, Justin and Jared, but man, that was a fight, dude. What do you think? Yep. J well. J my brother-in-law, Judd, behind the camera, he caught a giant last year right here, so. Wow, that is awesome. So I finally got my big tarpon in. Um, that's been a life goal for sure catching a big tarpon in the Cayman Islands. Doesn't get better than that. But that is gonna wrap this video up. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, there's still a few more videos from the Caymans coming, so stay tuned for those. Make sure you get over to moltman.net, 
Got some new merch drops, some uh, performance hoodies, and a few new colors on the performance fishing shirts. So get over there, get you some shirts, get you some credit glitter. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.